I am Sotuj Gadankar. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one volumetric strain. In the particular volumetric strain, uh, mutually perpendicular uh, forces acting over that of the uh, rectangular section or cubic section. Now I am dealing about the cubic section. A cube of 100 mm side is subjected to a 10 kN tensile, 8 kN mm square compressive, and 6 kN tensile acting along x, y, and z plane, respectively. Determine the strain along the three directions. We have to determine the strain. That is sigma x, sigma y and sigma z, sorry, sigma naught. E x, E y and E z, we have to find out strain. And change in volume, that is delta V, we have to find out. Poisson's ratio, Hanks modulus, they have given it. It's a cube section. It's a cube. It's a cubic section. The cubic section. Cube is nothing but hundred mm, hundred mm, hundred mm. Now, cubic is side ten mm, ten side. 8 mm compressive and tensile. Now this section I will consider as a tensile. If you want to consider this as a tensile, no problem. You can write 10 here. 8 or 8 this side and above 6. No problem. You will get the same answer. 10 kN mm square. Next is compressive in nature. Eight Newton per mm square. Again tensile, 6 Newton per mm square. Now I will consider this is an X, this will be Y and this will be Z. If you want to consider this is X, consider it X, Y and Z, no problem, you will get the same answer. Same answer. We have to determine, we have to find strain in X direction strain in y direction and strain in z direction we have to determine and also determine change in volume delta v delta v. let's let's find out delta v first ev is equal to sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z divided by x modulus 1 minus 1 minus 2 mu mu is given here mu or 1 by m is nothing but 0.25. Hanks modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Now substitute here based upon the diagram. Uh, sigma x, this is sigma x. What is sigma x? Sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z. As per the diagram, it is positive 10, compressive in nature minus 10, minus 8 plus 6 divided by Hanks modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 1 minus 2 into 0 0.25 and EV is nothing but EV can written as EV can also be written as delta V by V what is V? V is nothing but length, width and thickness that is 100 into 100 into 100 substitute the value here directly delta V divided by 100 into 100 into 100. Calculate with the help of a calculator. You will get delta V is equal to 20 mm cube. 20 mm cube. Now we have to find out the strain in x direction. Strain E x is equal to what is the formula? Sigma x divided by E minus sigma y divided by M E minus sigma z divided by m e. Now as per the diagram I will write the solution. x it is 10 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5. It is in compressive nature but it is a minus sign therefore it becomes plus plus 8 into 0 0.25 there because 1 by 1 by m is nothing but 0 0.25 divided by 
2 into 10 raised to 5 minus z is nothing but 6 6 into 0 0.25 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5 if you calculate the answer will be 5.25 into 10 raised to 5 10 silent each because there is no negative sign tension next e by what is the formula sigma y divided by e minus sigma x divided by m e minus sigma z divided by m e because as the tension is applied lateral strain comes in picture what is sigma y minus 8 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5 plus no it is minus it is in tension then it become minus 10 divided by into 0 0.25 um, 2 into 10 raised to 5 z 6 into 0 0.25 2 into 10 raised to 5 if you calculate the answer is minus 6 into 10 raised to minus 5 this is compressive in nature compressive in nature last ez is equal to ez divided by e minus sigma x divided by me minus sigma y divided by me now sigma z 6 to 6 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5 sigma x 10 if it is a compressive then it becomes a positive sign 10 10 into 0 0.25 poisons ratio into 2 into 10 raised to 5 y value it is in compressive then it becomes positive 8 into 0 0.25 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5 if you calculate the answer is 2.75 into 10 raised to minus 5 it is in tensile in this way you have to find out the strain and change in volume i am santosh gadankar thank you very much